Hello and welcome to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Wes McMurtry and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. In today's video, we will be working with the camera tool tree to create custom operations and features to mill a slot and holes using one tool. A few of the possible benefits to programming tool pads using the tool tree is that if you have limited cutting tools or a mill with no tool changer and want to simply program a single tool to create multiple milling operations, of course, this is just one of the many methods Solvers Cam and or Camworks has to offer to program your parts as you see fit for your needs. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So we're going to take a look at uh, getting started here. We've already set up the machine, the stock, and the coordinate system. And normally at this point, we would just click on extract machinable features. But today we're going to look at the, the Camworks tool tree. And in there we see it, we have a preloaded tool crib, but what we're going to do today is we're just going to specify one tool. So we're going to use this 3 8 inch flat end mill to create the holes that we see there and the slot that we're going to mill out as well. So to do that, what you can do from the tool tree is just simply right click an end mill, go down to two and a half axis mill operations, and we're going to select rough mill. We'll keep this as simple as possible. We're just going to run through the process here and now it brings up our new operation uh, rough mill and it gives us a little message out here select one or more features for which the operation is to be defined so by clicking on the select feature button we're going to come over here and say hey we need to create a new feature there's nothing there right now so we'll select create features and a drop down will pop up and we're going to choose a two and a half axis feature now i don't have a setup yet so we're going to create a brand new setup and all that is is i'm going to walk over here and just select the top face one of the faces on the top of my part here to just specify that this is the direction of my tool next up we'll click on the new feature and we'll assign a type a two and a half x a two and a half axis feature what type well it looks like a slot to me so we'll choose the slot type and we'll just come out and simply we're just going to click on the top face of my part there to basically give me the border or the region that i'm looking at creating a slot in and then we'll specify our end condition and from there, I'm gonna click the top face and that'll define the top to bottom uh, area of my part there. And you can see here, I've got some blue dashed lines. That's representing that the end, end of these slots are open air portions of my tool path. And the strategy on this isn't too, too, uh, too, too particular. We are manually programming it. I could choose rough here, but it really doesn't matter in this type of programming. I'll just leave it set to rough, rough, rest, finish. We'll say, okay. And uh, there we can see we've got we now have a uh, what's available there. We've created that rough slot. We'll say OK again, and that'll bring up our operation parameters. And from there, uh, we basically have full control over over, the, over our tool path and how it behaves uh, and what it's going to do. We're going to leave it pretty much alone there. That cleanup pass it's turned on. What that does it's going to give a basically cleanup pass to the walls and the side walls of my slot there. So sort of a finishing operation there if I change the side parameters to zero. So we'll we'll make that slot there, uh, take up the entire lot, uh, entire width of the slot there. We won't do a finish operation or anything. So we'll just say, hey, that's that's good enough for this. We're using a roughing operation there. And there I can see the entry into the part and the roughing routine. And that looks good. We'll say okay to that. And now we'll go back to our tool tree. And again, it's the, the process of using the end mill by right clicking on it. It's what we're really focused on today here. So again, I'm gonna right click on that end mill, choose two and a half axis operation, and we'll go back again and use a rough mill operation uh, and set this up. And we're gonna have to create a new feature. So we're making these holes here. We already have that slot feature in there that we see. Now let's go create a new feature. Again, we'll just use two and a half axis feature. And we already have a new setup. We just created it a second ago previously, so we'll turn this off and that'll allow us to use that, the, the existing setup. Now we'll go and click new feature from here. And for this, we're gonna choose pocket. We'll just leave it set to a pocket. We'll pretend we're gonna, these holes are, are pockets. So uh, we won't drill them. We'll actually use that end mill to rough them out. And there we see there's our pocket selected. Now we'll, we'll choose our end condition and from there, our strategy, like, like before, uh, even though it's set to rough finish, we'll end up with just a roughing operation because we are manually programming with just that tool and we specify we just want to rough. So we'll set our depth here. I know my parts have half inch thick material, so we'll make it slightly over. 
uh, just to make sure that end mill pokes out the other side. And we'll say OK again here, and that will bring us up back to the operation parameters. Uh, very similar, or it's the exact same operation parameters for this wrapping operation as before. And again, we have the cleanup pass, and we'll set it to zero for sidewall so that it makes that, that last finished pass when it gets towards the bottom. And it will change our plunge there too as well. So you can see you do have all the options available for roughing there. We'll change that to spiral since we are using an end mill. And uh, we'll change this from a, down to a 25% the radius of the tool diameter for our spiral. Let's do a quick preview of that. Looks pretty good there. We're spiraling in rather than going straight into or feeding into the material uh, with our end mill. We can see there we're making some spiral passes and then the cleanup pass at the very bottom there, an additional pass there for that cleanup pass. And we'll say OK to that. And we have our tool paths program now. So we have two, one there for the slots, one for the uh, pockets slash holes. Let's take a look at the simulation and we'll go in and press the play button just to verify. There's my slot, there's my holes being milled out in my simulation so today was just kind of a quick tip on if you've never went this route programming parts uh, by starting with the tool itself rather than letting, letting the automatic feature re recognition or strategies decide for you what tool you want thanks for watching if you enjoy this video please subscribe and leave us a comment below with any topic you'd like us to cover in a future video Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Take care.